For me, representation in STEM is so important. Biomedical engineer Arlene Simon is a leader in her field. She's also the author of the children's book series, Abby Invents. So I'm working on book three. Um, this time we're going to be tackling climate change and weather patterns together. Abby is a young inventor solving problems in the everyday life of a kid. Arlene sees herself in Abby and hopes her readers do too. Often you have to see somebody who looks like you in a role before you can envision yourself in that role. Arlene is an if-then ambassador for the American Association for the Advancement of Science. Women STEM professionals who are contemporary, relatable, and authentic, who were willing to tell their stories and inspire the next generation. Matthew Cromit is the director of Lida Hill Philanthropies, which makes the program possible. We believe that more and better visual representation and portrayals of women STEM professionals will help show girls and boys out there of the different careers that exist for them. And their latest endeavor is definitely visual. It's just as surreal as you can imagine. More than 120 if-then ambassadors, including Arlene, turned into statues. They stood inside of this life-size 3D scanner that took thousands of photos of them and then created this life-size silhouette that we were able to 3D print. The reason why all the statues are orange is because they did some tests and they realized that uh, to survive the wear and tear of the hot Texan sun, uh, orange is the color that you know lasts. <laughs> so that's why they're orange. <laughs> How very STEM is that? <laughs> The project was inspired by a study that found, of the 5,193 public statues of historic figures in the U.S., only 394 are of women. And there are only about half a dozen statues of regular American women in publicly accessible places. And so we, we thought, let's do something about that. Now, the statues of women in STEM are prominently on display at a busy shopping center in Dallas, Texas, each with a QR code connecting onlookers to their stories and more about their careers. Every statue includes an object that represents the woman as a leader in STEM. For Arlene, it was Abby and Vince. Any opportunity there is to inspire girls and show girls that you can use your smarts to be an inventor, that science is for you, whether you are a ballerina who likes aerospace engineering or your molecular biologist who loves fashion design, it doesn't matter, like you're able to marry your passion with science.